Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about data replication and types of data fragmentation. So first of all, here, distributed databases and data replication and fragmentation are the topics in this video. So first one is data replicated means data replication is the process of storing separate copies of the database not data storing separate copies of the database at two or more sites it is very popular technique although with some disadvantages but is simpler and best technique for small organizations in this technique whole database is placed at all the sites or places so as you know here at site 1 whole database is here whole dbms is here and at site 2 and 3 4 5 condition is similar here are some advantages of data replication so first of all reliability if any site is damaged you can access data from another site so it is more reliable so in case of that site one database is damaged so you can access database by using site one from site four so if site two is damaged or its database is damaged you can access data from site 5 or site 1, site 3, site 4. So, number 1 is reliability and number 2 is simpler transactions. So, due to less number of table joins, transaction processing is fast because of complete copy of database at every location. So, no need to retrieve and join data from all the sites. It is very, very important point in distributed database data replicated because here there is no need to access data in combination like employees information in site 1 some in employees in site 2 some employees are in site 3 so if I want to access all the data that is all the record of the employees so for this we are we are joining them to get a result so no need to join because of all the data at site 1 so you can access data from site 1 reduction in network load so due to this because all data is available at site 1 so there is no need to use communication network so reduction so for this reduction in network load the use of network is very low due to local copies of database and number four quicker response quicker response because of locality so due to reduction of network load and local copies query processing is also fast so due to local copies of data query processing is very fast here are some disadvantages of this technique increased storage requirements so for that increased storage requirements means if whole database is 5 GB so 5 GB here is 5 GB and 25 GB is required so this is the mean number one disadvantage of data replicated so increased cost and complexity of data updating so first of all Maintaining multiple copies of data is associated with increased storage costs. It is number one disadvantage. Each time a data atom is updated. I want to update a name of a student. So it will be updated at site 
five, four, three, two. So each time a data item is updated, the updated the update needs to be reflected in all the copies of the data at the different sites. So this process is time consuming. So third disadvantage is here undesirable application. Due to modification we need some extra over undesired application that are being used to update data at all the sites. So fragmentation. Fragmentation is the task of dividing a table into a set of smaller tables. The subset of the table are called fragments. So different subsets in fragmentation. Fragmentation basically dividing table into different parts of the basics of criteria. So fragmentation has some advantages and disadvantages. First of all we are going to discuss about advantages of fragmentation database according to site usage. So because of this we can easily maintain privacy of the data. So no need to send accounting data at site 3. So we can also maintain privacy in fragmentation. So no need to share sensitive data at all the sites. Most of the time query processing speed is good. Usually query processing time is slow in fragmentation. So no need to store irrelevant data at multiple storage. So this is the main advantage of fragmentation technique. So disadvantages of fragmentation if data from different fragments required access speed is slow. So this is the main reason and main disadvantage of fragmentation. So lack of backup copies. So access speed is sometimes slower than related or related model which is replicated model. Due to lack of replication data may be lost. Here are the types of fragmentation, vertical fragmentation, horizontal fragmentation and hybrid fragmentation. So first of all vertical fragmentation. Columns of a table are grouped into fragments. Each table also contain primary key due to reconstructiveness. So vertical fragment means we are going to select only specific columns in this technique. So suppose we have a table that is ID, name, DOB are the columns in this table but I want to select only few columns. So vertical selection means we are going to select only columns. So ID, name, phone, city are selected from this table. So it is time for the practical work. Download XAMPP, search XAMPP and then click here on this link apachefriends.org and you can select according to your operating system and download from here. So after installation click on start button Apache and MySQL and create a test data because this course is all about distributed database so I have two table in test data one is branch and the second one is employee so now what is actually mean by vertical fragmentation so here create or select
employees table and here are the column names so if I want to select ID name and city from employees table so press control plus enter and vertically selection ID name and city are here so you can also create view like create view as ABC or test vertical from employees just paste it here press control plus enter to execute the query and here is the error sorry for that so here create view test vertically as so now you can run the query and view is created according to your choice so test view so only ID branch name city in this table so it is vertically fragmentation and the next one is horizontal fragmentation horizontal fragmentation groups the tuples or rows of a table in accordance to values of one or more fields so on the basis of CT column we can select the data we can say that select data where CT is equal to Hannibal and the result will be here create a view like create view so view name is test horizontal view as select ID name city from employees table execute the query and query executed successfully test edge horizontal view and sorry for that in horizontal view we are going to apply a condition create view so first of all drop this view which is test edge now test edge and select ID name city from imply where city is equal to Multan or select employees table okay test edge and here is the record of the employees from Multan next one is high verb fragmentation a combination of horizontal and vertical fragmentation techniques are used so both we are going to select columns and specific data which is satisfy the particular condition write a query create view
and the view name is test combination of vertical V and horizontal so as select ID name city from employee or query will be same because the combination of both from employee where city is equal to carnival execute the query and here is the result so there is no record so insert record carnival and now open views so one record is here thank you so much for watching this video